Alright, so it's not too bad. My doors are still here. So that's good. But obviously, on the other side, I've already spawned into my bag. And they went through the weak point in my base. Although it wasn't really even a weak point, to be honest. Like if they went through there and there, it would have been the same. But they had the cheekiness to put a door on. So I don't have my TC. But at least we've got three sheet metal doors and a sleeping bag here. So, I mean, that's not too bad, I guess. We can still use that to our advantage and set up another base quite easily, probably. Man, why is there got to be sulfur everywhere? It's just rubbing in the fact that someone probably already farmed around here to raid me, man. It's not a good feeling. Also, the worst thing is now I actually have to go back to stone tools for a while. Which is the thing I hate most on rest, to be honest with you. Stone tools and a bow with no crossbow. That's like the worst stage to be in on this game. Maybe I should just like quickly farm up some wood and at least secure my bag and my three doors so I have somewhere to store loot. I might quickly go grab them and head back over this way. So I think I might relocate a little bit as well. Because since there's like no nodes around here, it gets a bit annoying when you're trying to look for any materials. Because metal ore is cool, and sulfur is cool, but when you've got no stone, it's so useless. Alright, let's try the risky run, which could potentially reset the entire wipe. Alright, let's go. Where do I want to set up? I don't even know. Alright, that's a DB Indo. And an MP5 Indo. Oh, actually, that might be Sewer Branch. Which is just passed. That dude's got a gun. Maybe it was Indo. Tell you, this forest looks good. And that's an AK. No. Just go to the fight, mate. That sounds like a juicy fight, yep. Yeah. Good lad. Yeah, that's such a juicy fight. Keep going. Oh no, I'm about to die. Oh great, I'm about to get DB'd. What? Okay. That's my doors gone. I like my timing. My timing's beautiful. Oh, one shot. Why was that guy so weak then? Alright, probably the worst base ever, but progress is progress.
I can't upgrade that. Wow. That guy, oh, that guy's got an AK. Go on, L9M, and let me just go get that AK. That'd be great content. Yeah, kill one of these fully geared guys, that Tommy, and I'll loot him. He's got a wolf headdress. If I had a compound bow, that would be my AK. Actually, it would probably be one of his teammates AK still since it looks like there's about four of them. That guy doesn't even have head armor on. That guy's dead up there. Oh my god. I'm grabbing. Don't even care, I'm grabbing. Let's grab. Yo, I'm so good at this game. Did you just see how I just got that full gear set? Man, I just killed that guy for a full gear set. I'm so good at this game, bro. I don't know how I do it sometimes. That's a guy on a horse chasing me. Hello. Hello. Right, I do want to actually look for people to fight, but... At this point, I think I need to stone my base. Get the boring part out of the way. Although that looks quite fun, that dude's naked. I should have taken the shot. Who am I getting compound bowed by? Your headshot, mate. Die. Oh, yeah. Stay concentrated on that for just a bit. How's that guy not dead? <laughs> All right, he should be dead. Yeah, that's one dead. I'm dead to that guy. I don't know how he even got me. He was behind a wall. Like, he just hit him as well. Fair enough. Let's upgrade to a compound bow this time. See how that goes. If I die this time, I'm going to be so broke. And I'm actually going to have to get some farming done. I like quite a bit of farming done. Oh, one of them is dead. That one's got a Tommy.
Wait, what did he have? I swear he had a Tommy. I don't even know. At least I got my stuff back. Oh, one of them's deep. That guy's deep. But I am going to go get a metal pick and hatch it this time. Like, for real. Unless that's a, that's a dude on top of that base. Okay. We'll call that a second. They really don't like that guy. They've been door camping him for so long. It's actually ridiculous at this point. If I was that guy that lived in that base, I'd be so annoyed. I think he's got a DB. That's a turret, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you got saved by that. Got a miss. Yeah. Thanks for the DB, bro. And thanks for the gear set, bro. I actually hear him. Wait, that's an airdrop. Why is there an airdrop on there? Those guys are going back for the airdrop. Oh, that almost hit him. Oh, they just killed one. This is a risky challenge. What? The fact he hasn't pushed this amazes me. I don't even know where that is. Oh, it's behind. Yeah, this is gameplay. I don't really care for that front bit stone, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to use that at all. It's actually getting to the point where as much as I feel like maybe it would be a good idea to take out more gear, it seems to be going a lot more successfully when I'm taking it less seriously and I'm just messing around with a compound bow. So I think I might just keep cruising around like this for a bit longer. Like I'm profiting. It's not insane gear. But it makes the game more enjoyable than just going out fully geared every time. Well I say fully geared. When I say that I mean like wolf head dress and like I don't know a crossbow with 30 bone arrows. Like, it's better than going out with that every time. Dying with that. Like, I'd rather go out naked with a compound bow and try and get some gear back. I'm enjoying this playstyle a lot more. Maybe I've just admitted to being a full-time grub, which is quite worrying. 
but it is fun. As a solo, I feel like you're allowed to grab. Like, you have to grab. There's nothing else I can do. Oh, okay. Oh my. Why is that guy so juiced? Why are you so juiced, mate? That was actually a really big run, and it wasn't really meant to be, which I know you can't really say a run's meant to be a big run, because if you do that, it never plays off, but that guy was absolutely stacked compared to what I thought he'd be. Also, so much of me right now is saying, craft the research table and just research that SAR. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to research a load of stuff, because I'm probably going to get offline again, because my base isn't exactly the best thing ever and roaming with the sar at the moment i feel like it's going to be less worth than roaming literally as i have been 